Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Now I'm just going to free ball this. Uh, if you've already watched this video, yeah, you will have noticed there was no audio, no commentary, just literally the class you see on the screen right here. That that transition was pretty. Sick. I don't even like that transition actually. I don't even know what I'm saying that. But anyways, this is my class. I use dual snipers. It's my Black Ops Cold War class. As you see, I've got Plague Diamond and I've got Diamond. I'm actually just watching this back and just going through it. But as you see, look, Lawbreaker there. My three perks, I'll talk about them for later on. But Gung Ho, Ninja, Cold Blooded, you know how it is. So I'm actually doing this commentary while watching the video back. <laughs> I can't find the script at all that I did, so I'm freeballing it. But anyways, as you see, five attachments. I use no optic. Uh, it's the same on the Tundra, but we're going to go through the Pellington, I do believe. I actually can't really remember this, but yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying this video so far. If you are, or you know, you can wait till the end to do this, but if you want to like, comment, and subscribe, that'll be highly appreciated. Um, but you see, we use a muzzle, a barrel, a magazine, and whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, yeah, the barrel. The bottom one. It's, you know, it's got good fire rate, damage, reload quickness, and bullet velocity. That is what you need on this gun. The damage alone is the best thing. That's, that's the reason why I use that barrel. The plus 20% damage. That's all you really need to make sure you're not, like, hit markering as much. You know, if, and then... You're not, you know, hitting him in the chest and then they're still, still dying. The muzzle, second one in, 90% muzzle flash concealment, right? I could have used the uh, the sound moderator, which is like 100%, but it does have minus 15% bullet velocity, I do believe. This, that, that's just a, the, the best thing I, I I use, in my opinion. The, the muzzle is the best thing, in my opinion, to be honest. Uh, seven round mag, you know how it is. You start with, uh, five, well, you usually start with five bullets. With the barrel you use, you only start with four. So you want to slap on the seven round to go down to six bullets. You're losing one bullet from the seven round mag, but it's still six bullets at the end of the day. As you can see on screen there, look, magazine ammo capacity, starting ammo and ammo capacity goes down. So you only start with six bullets. But, you, you know, that's, the, that's what you should need anyway. It doesn't matter. Handle, bottom one, 90% flinch resistance. Oh, wait, that's not even the best thing there. The 12% ADS time. It's the best one in the game. You can aim while going prone as well. Although you do lose your shooting move speed and sprint to fire time. But if you're good at the game and you know you'll get used to this class anyway, you will you won't even notice the difference. You won't even notice the cons to be fair. But it's the best pro for ADS time, which is the best thing about sniping in general. It's what you need. You always need to aim quick if you're quick scoping. And even when your hard's coming long distance, like you still need to be able to aim in as quickly as possible. It's the bottom handle, that's all you need. Uh, I do believe that's what, with three attachments in, four attachments in? I don't know why it's not switching to the next one. I must have been commentating a lot at this point. But in this commentary, I'm ready to move on to the next one already. So, yeah, um, pfft. what can I talk about? Nothing, doesn't matter, we're on the stock now. Bomb stock, 30% sprint to fire time, 40% uh, you know, in walking movement speed. Uh, you, you know, it gives you a con of the hip fire accuracy, so you can either use this or the laser sight, which gives you, you know, a better hip fire accuracy. But yeah, them, them pros are pretty good. It's the, it's the plus 30% sprint to fire time. Since they reduced it when they, ner but they nerfed the snipers. And as you see here, look, you know, you get minus 15 sprint to fire time with the last attachment that I showed you. This just, you know, negates it, gets rid of 15% and adds another 15% on top of it because it's plus 30%. Now, I've got a little, uh, little, little uh, thing I want to talk about right here real quick. With this class, your boy was playing Nuketown the other day. Hit a single. And then a triple collat, triple one bullet. My first ever triple one bullet in Call of Duty. I hit it on this one. I'm always evolving every card. Modern Warfare, a lot of people, a lot of my friends, a few of them were saying I peaked on Modern Warfare. With this card, I'm even getting better than that. I hit my first six on on Modern Warfare towards the end, which was a nine man feed. First six on. And your boys already hit triple one bullet on this card. But, anyways, your perks Gung Ho, Ninja Cold Bloody, that's really all you need. Tactical, lethal, and field upgrade. You can change them whatever you want. I use Sam turrets because a lot of people run, you know, UAVs and can't UAVs and all that. Tomahawks, I don't like using lethal lethals. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, tacticals, I hate stuns and flashbangs, but I throw in a flashbang just in case, you know, just because I'm sniping. I really don't like abusing stuns, really. The stuns are the most annoying thing in the game, so I'm not going to put anyone through that. But a flashbang, that just helps me get feeds if I can. Like, I can flash somebody. If there's, like, a group of five, which usually is the case, I mean, I run into spawns somehow. Uh, or enemies just spawn on top of me, so if I flash them, that's like four or five people, I've got a split second chance of getting them all then. But yeah, for, uh, the reason I've got these perks, by the way, Gung Ho, because I use two snipers, you want to be able to, you know, change between them quick. Ninja, you want to be silent so no one hears you. 
cold-blooded, I hate sentry guns, I hate chopper gunners. That gets rid of them. They don't target you with that. My score streaks though, because I use a Sam turret as well, and a lot of people do run UAVs. I run UAVs or spy planes, counter spy planes or counter UAVs. And I've started using that third kill streak there, which is the airstrike. Not airstrike, um, air support, I think it's called even. Air support. That gets rid of every single spy plane, counter spy plane that's in the air. Let's say three people have got both, um, you know, both counter UAV and the UAV in the sky. That's six planes. That gets rid of all six. Like, that, that's, that's amazing. It gets rid of chopper gunners as well if they're there, you know, like AC 130s and all this. It gets rid of them all, or near enough, all of them anyway. Um, but I do believe that is the whole... I've commented about the whole video in less time than the actual video is going on for. Um, but I think at this point I was, like, talking, like, uh, if you guys, you know, see any, you know, differences you may, you want to make to the class setup that I've got, let's say you found something a little bit better than the class setup. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, if there's any anything you want to talk about, like, you know, why not use this attachment or why not use that attachment. Um, and also, if you guys want to see me do a class with uh, just one sniper, uh, with all attachments used, uh, maybe with an optic, maybe without an optic, I don't really use an optic, but yeah. Let me know in the comment section. Apart from that, peace out and I'm out. I'll see you guys later.